Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's going on Toby here or Toby Chisel and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 13 Virtual Program Mode series Prolific. And we kick off today's episode with a game against um, Tottenham Hotspur. Now this is a London derby, so it's a very important game for us. We're going to be looking to get the three points here, obviously. And um, obviously this is Chisel's first real competitive game in um, the English First Division. Um, having moved on loan from Barcelona, if you guys have been um, watching the rest of the series, then you'd be like kind of up to date with that. But we start off really brightly, creating chances in the early moments of the game, and once again, you can see like the sort of passing move, passing moves that um, QPR are putting together, and it is really sort of some. It's it's kind of like Barcelona stuff, and I'm really kind of happy in the set with the setup here. I thought it was just one of those things that um, because in my first game which was against Leighton Orient because we were playing against lower opposition or low rated opposition I thought it was just um, one of those things where we outshone them but we kind of played a lot of good attacking football against Tottenham Hotspur here and obviously we had the home advantage <coughs> excuse me but um, yeah it was lovely attacking football and this as you can see here is Tottenham's first real chance of the game nothing too um, dangerous but um, we keep the pressure up, um, working the ball nicely. Park nodding it down for Jizzle there, who breaks and gets a shot off. But somehow Hugo Yoris makes a fantastic save and keeps the score at 0-0. So we head on into the second half and a fantastic through ball from Tarat puts Belanta through. And um, he slots it to Jizzle, who fires home past the keeper with his um, left foot to make it 1-0. So that's a fantastic um, achievement for us, I guess, of our debut Premier League goal. But just a few minutes later, uh, Tottenham break, Jermaine Defoe getting a shot off um, fire and wide, but they're showing signs of you know putting pressure up and getting um, back into the game essentially. And uh, a fantastic ball from Sigurdsson um, finds I think Defoe who heads down, and uh, Tom Huddleston was there to finish and make it one all. And that was their most like clear cut chance of the game, and it was really unfortunate that we were unable to grab the three points in that match. But 6.7 rating, which I'm kind of disappointed with. Um, I thought our performance deserved better than that, but obviously the game chose uh, or thought otherwise, I guess. And um, so we move on to our next game against um, Stoke City. And Stoke was always going to be a tough game for us. Like um, they're a really physical side, essentially. And um, me just coming up from the lower divisions, I haven't really built or Lethal Jizzle hasn't built that physical. Um, Oh, he hasn't got that physical build about him yet, so it's going to be a tough game for him essentially in terms of being able to hold off the defenders or beat the man essentially. But um, yeah, as you can see here, um, 17th in the table at the moment, so it's not looking good for us. No wins on the board yet, so we're going to be looking to change that. But um, it starts off really badly, a really nice work for, move from um, Stoke City allows them to get a shot off at goal, which is initially saved. But Kenwin Jones is there to pounce, and we almost like equalise almost immediately. Um, However, the shot was saved and Jizzle could only fire wide. And Stoke continued to put pressure up with nice, like really nice flowing passing moves. And Juve really unfortunate not to score there, his shot going wide of the post. Um, but it was pretty much all them in the first half. And I really don't know how Kitely missed that. He should have made it 2-0 and doubled their lead. But um, I guess he keeps his head up and he plays a fantastic cross in for their second goal. Which is um, headed in by Mame Biram Diouf. Um, who was, I don't know if you guys know, but he's a an X-Men United player essentially. But um, yeah, we end up um, going 2-0 behind and we start to put the pressure up once more. There, Jizzle forcing a block off the defenders and uh, Belanta unable to fire home past the goal goalkeeper. He can only um, fire wide of the post. But we keep the pressure up. Once again, Basingua getting a shot off, um, but um, having the same outcome as Belanta's shot going wide of the post. And Jizzle's header there just beating the goalkeeper but also beating the post as well but we put some high pressure up and we're really unfortunate not to score here Jizzle turns defender and um, gets the shot off the keeper makes another fantastic save and Stoke can clear so really unfortunate not to have got a goal back at this point in the game but um, we keep our heads up I guess and our wits about us and how about this for a finish from Lethal Jizzle left foot from the edge of the box to score once more I think that's his third consecutive game at QPR and um, yeah that puts us uh, one goal back in it I guess, puts us 2-1 uh, behind them. And we nearly equalise here, lovely ball from Farlin over the top, uh, but Jizzle's shot is saved and um, Hoyler is only just offside, look at this, fractionally offside, um, so his rebound didn't count and the score stayed at 2-1. And just to rub some salt in the wounds, 
um, from that um, set piece that they've just won. They go up the other end with another passing move. Adam finding Juve who played it through to Jones and he keeps his call and slots it past the goalkeeper to make it 3-1 and just, you know, rub that victory in our face. So a bit of a harsh defeat, still no points on or no wins on the on the board, so a little bit disappointed with that. But a 7.5 rating is quite nice to um, end this episode with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to leave a like and I'll talk to you guys in a bizzle. Peace.